<laughs> is it time for recess yet? I'm so glad you found time to join us here on the Child Care Director's Chair, where Erica Sacoccio shares her best practices that she's refined through her passion of directing child care centers over the last 23 years. From parenting interaction, systems to save you time, money, and stress, to profitability. She shares it all from the Child Care Director's Chair. Hey there, are you a proud owner or operator of a child care center? As you provide a nurturing environment for the children to learn and grow, it's critical to ensure that your business is protected from unforeseen events. So understanding insurance considerations for your child care center is paramount to safeguarding your investment, your staff, and the children under your care. So let's talk about a few of the coverages that you really want to make sure you have in place before you open up your child care center. Well, first and foremost, of course, is liability insurance, which is a vital component for any child care center. Because let's face it, accidents can happen, and having the right coverage can protect you from potential lawsuits or claims. Liability insurance can provide financial assistance in the case of bodily injury, property damage, or even allegations of abuse or neglect. By obtaining comprehensive liability coverage, you can have peace of mind knowing that you are prepared for any unforeseen circumstances. Additionally, property insurance is equally important to safeguard your physical assets. From the building structure to the toys and the equipment, your child care center holds valuable assets. And we know we pay a lot for them. So you need to make sure that you have protection in place. So property insurance can provide coverage in case of theft, fire, vandalism, or natural disasters in some cases. Ensuring that you can recover and continue providing a safe environment for the children in your care. Now, another thing you really need to make sure that you look at is Having work is compensation. As an employer, it is your responsibility to provide a safe workplace for your staff. However, accidents can still happen, and work is compensation insurance can provide coverage from medical expenses and lost wages in the event of an employee's work-related injury or illness. By having this coverage in place, you demonstrate your commitment to your staff's well-being, and comply with all legal requirements. Another thing you really want to think about is having business interruption insurance because unexpected events such as fires or natural disasters can disrupt your child care center's operations, leading to financial losses. And business interruption insurance can help cover ongoing expenses such as rent, payroll, utilities during a period of restoration. So the coverage ensures that your child care center can recover as quickly as possible and you can continue to provide essential services to the families in need in your community. Another one I want to point out is something you might not think about, but cyber liability insurance. That's becoming increasingly important in today's digital age, especially since most of our information is now kept online. So as technology plays a significant role in managing child care centers, protecting sensitive data and information is crucial. So cyber liability insurance can provide coverage in the case of data breaches, cyber attacks, or identity theft and help you mitigate potential financial losses and safeguard the privacy of your clients. Another thing you might wanna think about is what happens if something happens to you? Either that you're not able to come into work any longer or you, know, uh, you have a partner and that partner who did 50% of the work is no longer able to work. Do you have keyholder insurance? So. What I would recommend is, I certainly am not an insurance broker. Um, we use uh, Thompson Insurance um, in uh, Rhode Island, and um, he does Rhode Island Mass, Connecticut. He is fantastic. And what you really need to do is make sure that you're sitting down 
with your insurance agent uh, or at least having a phone call um, once a year. So before you sign your renewal, you really want to take a look and make sure that your coverages are adequate because sometimes things change over a year. You've expanded, you you or or you've downsized, right? So um, you used to have five vans, now you have two vans. Um, so all those things, you want to really make sure you go over your coverages and make sure that anything that has changed has been adjusted in your insurance. Now, you certainly don't want to wait till the end of the year if you know something has changed, but um, you definitely want to make sure that you're sitting down and making sure that your coverages are um, adequate as you grow, as you add more uh, equipment, more staff, um, all those things. Hopefully you're thriving and you're doing well. And so I'll just like to wrap it up with this. In conclusion, understanding the insurance considerations for your child care center is essential for protecting your business, your employees, and the children in your care. By ensuring you have comprehensive liability, property insurance, work as comp insurance, business interruption, cyber liability coverage, and key man, just to name a few, you can confidently focus on providing a nurturing environment for the children to thrive. So don't wait till it's too late and make sure you take the necessary steps to secure the future of your child care center today. Hopefully that was helpful. Please leave us a review. We'd appreciate it. And thank you for tuning in to the Child Care Director's Chair. Until tomorrow, see you then. Well, all the cute little kiddos have been picked up and it's time to go home. And that'll do it for another episode of the Child Care Director's Chair. Please leave a review so Erica knows the information is helping you to manage and improve your child care centers. Remember to subscribe to get the latest episode from Erica's Child Care Director's Chair. (laughs) 